Hello viewers, this is Go Venture TV and I hope you are having a good festive season. So today I want to talk about entrepreneurship and I want to talk about the types of entrepreneurs we have. And one of the reasons as to why it is important for us to understand this is because we are all unique and therefore when we want to start businesses, it is important for us to be able to understand who we are before we embark on our startups. Now we have different types of entrepreneurs and we also call them the entrepreneurial DNA or the entrepreneurial genes. So we have craft entrepreneurs. These are people who need the skill for them to be able to start a business. So what happens with these people is that for them to be able to do anything in business, they first have to look for a skill or acquire a skill and they will use that skill to start a business. So these are called craft entrepreneurs or skills entrepreneurs so for those of you who go to do electronics and then you come and start an electronic shop then you are a craft entrepreneur so we have others called the social entrepreneurs and these are people who look for social problems and use entrepreneurial skills to come up with solutions for those problems. A good example of a social entrepreneur is Wangari Madhai, Professor Wangari Madhai. He was one of the best social entrepreneurs that we had in this country. So we have others who start children's homes, rehabilitation centers, all these are social entrepreneurs. Now we have a, other, another category called the corporate entrepreneurs. Now these are people who look for jobs but within those jobs they also practice their entrepreneurial skills by coming up with new products for the organizations. A good example is what you see in the media station. All those people who come up with their own program, the Tread, Kirerembe, Kimore, all those are the people we call corporate entrepreneurs. The good thing about those people is that they when they realize that maybe they have grown enough to start their businesses, they can be able to go outside there and take advantage of some of the loopholes that they got in the business. So we also have the innovators. These are people who come up with new ways of doing things. These are people who come up with new ideas. These are people who creatively destroy what is already there. A good example is Zuckerberg. People like the Uber guys, the guys who came up with Airbnb, all these are people who we call innovators. So we also have a group of entrepreneurs called opportunistic entrepreneurs. Now these are people who do not need a uh, skill, but all they need is to get an opportunity and they will use that opportunity to start a business. So they do not have skills, they are able to bring people together, the people who have the skills that they need, and from there they start a very good business using the skills. A good example is Donald Trump, Trump, he's a corporate, he's a opportunistic entrepreneur. Chris Kilby is an opportunistic entrepreneur, and many, many more people who can be able to just start a business by doing what we call getting an opportunity within them. So we also have another group of entrepreneurs called the innovators. These are people who come up with new ways of doing things and they will come up with new products for in the market they will come up with new ideas in the market they will come up with new processes in the market and it will work wonders for the organization now if you want to know to 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 start a business it is important for you to categorize yourself within those five groups of entrepreneurs that that are mentioned here so are you a craft are you a corporate are you a social are you an innovator or are you an opportunistic entrepreneur? So when you know who you are, then it is easier for you to be able to understand the type of the businesses that you can be able to start and also be able to scale the business higher because you understand yourself. So the first question that you need to answer is who am I if I want to start a business? Thank you very much for listening and have a happy 2020.